Hey, so I'm curious, how many of you were on birth control before you started trying to conceive? I was on birth control for 13 years before we started, and it wasn't even until somewhat recently that I realized how much birth control numbs out the beautiful and powerful cyclic and rhythmic nature our menstrual cycles have. I honestly think that's one reason that I struggled to conceive. I didn't know how to tune into my body because my body couldn't even speak to me for 13 years and I wasn't there to listen either. So I wanted to talk about a few ways that you can easily tune into your body that can give you more insight when trying to track your cycle for fertility. The simplest and most accessible sign to check for is cervical mucus. This changes throughout a natural menstrual cycle that a woman experiences based on a woman's hormonal activity. As we get closer to ovulation, estrogen should begin to rise and this stimulates the production of clear, stretchy, or slippery fertile cervical mucus. Another sign that some women experience is a pain or twinge on one side in the lower abdomen, the side of the ovary that's actually releasing an egg. This pain can alternate sides monthly or actually stay on the same side for a few months. As you approach ovulation, the cervix also rises up to the top of the vagina and becomes softer and moister to allow for the sperm to easily move through the uterus and up to the fallopian tubes where it can fertilize the egg. You can remember the acronym SHOW, S-H-O-W, and that stands for soft, high, open, and wet. If you want more tips and tricks on how to tune into your body and use other practical ways to chart your cycle for ovulation, click the link in my bio to sign up for my brand new free three-day workshop, Upgrade Your Natural Conception, going live on July 26th through July 28th. I'll see you there.